Hey there, welcome to this class. So what are ER diagrams? So ER diagrams are the graphical representations of entities and the attributes and even the relationships between different entities. And these are useful tools for visualizing and documenting database designs. Now, if you have an entity defined in the database design, when you translate that design into database, the entities are translated usually into tables. So if you take a look at the planetary goods database, you have entities like customer, order details, orders, products, and suppliers, and they all have relationships between them. And I'm going to show you how you can create entity relationship diagram for planetary cuts. So we can use MySQL for the same. And for doing this, you need to go to database. Here you have an option of database and you will see this option called reverse engineer. So just click on that and you will see this pop-up come in. Now over here, you need to make sure that you're connecting to the right instance. Like I'm connecting to the local host and I have like right credentials defined and I'll say next. Now when I say next, it will test the connection and fetch the information. You can click next again. And it will show you like which schemas you want to include to reverse engineer. So I'll say planetary cuts and I'll say next. So it will say retrieval completed. Now, one thing I want to talk about is this word reverse engineer. So here it is saying reverse engineer because we are actually reverse engineering and already existing database and we are generating the database design for the same. So usually in the process, the ER diagram is created first and then the database is designed in the actual database. Okay. So it is not the vice versa. Like you cannot create the database first and then generate the ER diagram. So since we are going reverse, because I want to show you how you can create entity relationship diagram for an already existing schema, and we are using the planetary goods schema example for the same, and you will have an understanding of what this diagram looks like. And that is why we are going through this process. And hence it is called reverse engineer over here. Now, if you click next, you will see this option here, which is checked by default. It says import MySQL table objects. And if you show filter over here, you can see it is importing all the objects that are added over here. Okay. So I'll say hide filter. If you want any specific thing to be imported, you can just remove things from here that you don't want to be imported. Okay. So I want everything to be imported. I'll say hide and I'll say execute. Okay. And I'll say next and it gives you a summary and I'll say finish. Now you can see over here, you have this diagram sort of canvas that is being generated in like MySQL workbench here. Okay. And you can see over here, these are different entities that your database have. Okay. And there is less space over here on the canvas, but you can see over here that we have different entities along with their relationship over here. All right. And this is a diagram that you can even export. So I can go to file, I can say export, and you can export this as PNG or a single PDF file. All right. So this is one way of creating or generating the entity relationship diagram for an already existing schema. And we're using MySQL workbench reverse engineer tool for the same. Now, if you wish to create an entity relationship diagram for something that is non-existent, like you're planning a database and that is not yet created into MySQL. So for that, you can use a tool called draw.io. So it is draw.io and recently, it has been renamed to diagrams.net. Okay. So not recently, actually like one or two years back. Okay. It was renamed to like diagrams.net and I use this tool a lot and it's a free tool. You can see over here, it's a free online diagram software and this has been made available to you, I believe by Google. So I'm not sure, but Google owns it. I believe I'm not sure about that, but you can check the Wikipedia article for the same. Okay. And I believe it has an author as well. So this is the author name and it's completely free. It integrates seamlessly with Google drive and so on. So if you click on this, it will ask for Google authentication. And once you have authenticated, it will ask you where you wish to save your diagrams. So you can select like Google Drive, OneDrive, or on your device, Dropbox, GitHub, or you can even decide later. Now, once you say, or once you choose your preference over there, you can like come onto this canvas. And over here, you will see like different like shapes. Okay. You have like this. And then if you select, you can see it's an amazing diagram tool. Okay. You can make use of this for different purposes. But since we are talking about entity relationship, you can see over here, we have this category of entity relation. And here you will have like these things here using which you can define entities and you will have these connectors using which you can define connections between entities. Okay. So you can connect something like this and uh, you can connect here and you can like, if you want to edit this, like I can say, this is a customer table. Okay. So this is customer and I can like just edit the rows. I can like enter whatever I want, like whether it's ID or something. Now, if I want to add more rows over here, I can just select any cell over here. Like I selected this ID cell. I can hold control and I can press enter. So holding and pressing control enter will add more cells to it. And if I wish to remove any attribute, I can simply like select this whole record here, like the entire record. I can say right click and I can say delete. You can see, or I can just press backspace as well. Okay. So you need to select this entire record and you can press backspace. So this way you can create ER diagrams using this amazing tool. You can even export this to PDF and so on. All right. So I have the entity relationship diagram for planetary goods already created and I've already exported this as a PDF. And you can see over here, I have different entities that we have created like order details. I have orders, I have products, suppliers and customers, and you can even see relationships between them. For example, there is no relationship between supplier and customer. 
right? So there is no linking between these two tables or these two entities over here. And you can see different attributes have been presented to us as well in the diagram. Okay, so this is what an entity relationship diagram looks like. And ER diagrams are crucial skills in database design because before creating your database, actually, you need to create an ER diagram. So you can use tools like draw.io or something like that. And you can create a diagram like this that will represent what your schema will look like or what your database structure will look like and what information you are storing. And then this file that you have created can be shared across the organizations and you can take feedback and bring everyone on same page. So if anybody has any input, they can give their inputs and basically you can make the change. So rather than creating the database first and then realizing, oh, we have missed this part, you create a diagram first, you get everybody on the same page, and then you basically go ahead with the creation of the database in the physical world. So that's the right way to do it. And that is the importance of ER diagram.